Hi, welcome back to another wonderful evening on LifeScienceMentor.com. Today's challenge is to find 10 cities worldwide that are worthwhile to look at. Um, and I'm talking from my own experience, from my own wishes and desires. Um, and I hope I can find something interesting about each city or each place that I mentioned that may be worth a try for you as well. So this is just a short and sweet video and article um, because I haven't been to any of those cities that I'm going to propose. So um, I'll have to figure out what's in there. This is just my initial ideas about it. So um, first one is St. Petersburg. So St. Petersburg has the Winter Palace, which has a rich history, often bloody, especially during the um, during the Russian Revolution in the um, in the beginning of the 20th century. There's the Hermitage, which is one of the biggest and oldest museums in the world. I would love to see that. And besides, I like the winter, so St. Petersburg somehow synonymously for me with uh, with the snow. But then also, I think, if I rem rem remember correctly, if you read, um, uh, if you read Dostoevsky's, uh, what's what's the English what's the English name? Dostoevsky's um, Crime and Punishment. Crime and Punishment. It plays in Saint Petersburg, I think, and you can actually almost taste the dry air in the hot summer um, in Saint Petersburg while the story unfolds. So. Um, St. Petersburg, great city I want to visit. Number two, Seattle. Ever since I saw this city, you always see the freaking Space Needle. And so I do want to see the freaking Space Needle for myself. I want to even go up if that's possible. So Seattle, Space Needle. No Starbucks, although Seattle is also iconically known for the birthplace of Starbucks. But no, Starbucks you have everywhere in the world. The Space Needle you have it. So would we'll see the Space Needle. Vancouver would be interesting to me because not only because it's basically the Canadian brother of um, Seattle, it also has lots of facilities to do whale watching off the coast. And I'm kind of hoping for larger whales than last time when I went to Chicoutimi in Quebec in, uh, in Canada. They had some whales and I went out with a boat and we saw some whales. Uh, they were like a little bit small, right? I want to see a big whale. And, um, and yeah, I'm hoping to see bigger whales when I go whale watching off Vancouver. Then number four it would be, if you like Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, you know about that city, is Kenderun. I think that's the city where Indiana Jones had the, um, had the final, um, the final, um, final scene, final countdown, how do you call it, final scene where you, the final showdown, right? Where he, um, where Elsa and this um, German, this German Nazi general, they they followed Indy and, and his father, and um, they want him to get the Grail, the Holy Grail, for them. I think that's an Iskenderun. So I would like to see all the archaeological diggings there, uh, the sites. I would like to uh, experience some flair of the movie. I don't even know whether they whether they. Um, made the movie there, whether they filmed the movie there, but just looking at, knowing that the story was about Iskenderun would be exciting enough for me to go there. Oh, and maybe maybe even dig the grail out from the cliff that Indy let go when the movie ended. Remember, he was hanging down at the cliff and, and he had to let go of the grail. Um, had to choose his life or the grail, right? And the grail fell down. So, I like to get it back. Number five is a city in Greenland named Longyearbyen, or in um, in um, uh, in the very south end of uh, of South America, Ushuaia. Either city is fine. Those are those cities are closest to the North or South Pole, so I would like to go there and do an expedition to the to the pole, whichever pole is closer. I do want to stay, pardon me, excuse me, I do want to stay on top of the world, so to say, right? On like very much directly on the pole and or go with a ship near it. So that's what I would love to do and that's why um, number five, Longyearbyen and or Ushuaia. 
Number six, Sydney, the opera. Same as with Space Needle for Seattle. You look at images of Sydney, Sydney and you see this opera house. I would like to hear an opera in there and I would also like to like to um, just visit this house. In fact, um, one of my life dreams is to see Wagner's Ring of the Nibelung, the four opera cycle, in five continents around the world. So I've seen it in New York. Maybe I see, I'll see it in Seattle at one point when I'm there to see the Space Needle. I can also see it in Seattle Opera. Um, they have a good production I recently saw. And then, yeah, Sydney Opera would be perfect if they screen the if they show the ring there. I would go. That would be the continent of Australia. Ben, this is funny, actually. Nuremberg or Nuremberg, as a German would say. Um, Nuremberg is not only known for the Nazi trials, but also for a beautiful Christmas market. And Christmas markets in Germany are nothing like Christmas markets in the US. Or maybe you have some nice Christmas markets in the US. I was just, um, they're just different in New York because you cannot have alcohol. You need an alcohol license to, to sell alcohol and even alcohol in the street is also difficult, right? It's not really allowed. You have to place a paper bag around it. Even then it's not allowed, but then if you place a paper bag around it, in New York, the cops will kind of like let it go. Um, so German Christkindle market, which would be, the Christmas market would be called in Nuremberg. In general, in Germany, Christmas markets, you smell them from afar. What does it smell? Mulled wine, cloves, oranges, and cinnamon. Maybe a little bit vanilla. So that is mild wine. So you heat up the wine, um, maybe add some rum if you want. Most important is the uh, uh, um, um, orange slices and some spices like cloves, cinnamon, and um, I think maybe also some additional Mm. Coriander, fennel, not fennel, but there's some spices in there that make it that make it just smell ultra nice, and that feels like home. So I would go to Nuremberg. There's a very famous Christmas market to see that. Number eight, Rome. Um, never been there. Surprisingly, I've been all over Europe, but never Rome. Um, I would basically see anything that is uh, reminiscent of Roman culture, amphitheater, um, all other buildings, you know, for like a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago, Rome was the center of Western civilization, right? Rome was the very hub. And now, two thousand years later, Rome has lost its meaning as a central hub for civilization. And all the buildings that people thought were like part of their daily lives are in ruins or sort of preserved, but it's not looking like that anymore. So any empire, any worldwide empire will fall to dust sooner or later or will develop so that you never recognize it um, 1,000 or 2,000 years ago. You always think it will always be like that. New York will always be like that. Uh, Paris, London will always be like that. Hamburg, Berlin, whatever. No, they won't. And um, and um, just watch, just look at Rome and you see um, what can happen to a city over time. So it would be very interesting to try to compare that, maybe try to figure out how, how Western world could look like in 2000 years if the Western world still has any meaning then, right? That's why I would like to go to Rome. Number nine, Dublin, Ireland. I would drink Guinness. I would explore the local pub scene, bar scene. I would also then go to see a um, beer brewery and a whiskey distillery. That's what I would like to do. So it's got to be an alcoholic trip. Number 10, I would like to go to a South, South Asian city um, just to explore what it's like to be really poor because we live relatively rich in the West and to get that into some kind of perspective 
I think it would be interesting and would be would be a very good experience to see how people act essentially that really don't have anything to live by, don't have don't have food, don't have shelter, have to beg on the street, don't have medical attention when they are missing a leg. Uh, Mike Cerno just talked about that in Bangkok and I think I, I would like, at one point, I would like to see that for myself. And notwithstanding, um, from all else I read, it's also great cities in Southeast Asia and it's a great experience to be there. But specifically, I would look, I would, I would think, I would want to look out, want to look for the, for the levels of poverty there to just to have my own life into better perspective. That's them. Ten different cities. Ten cities I think would be worth a visit. And why? If you like this, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on like. Um, the more likes we get, the more people will see this and um, we can grow our, our community, which I would very much like. I appreciate every comment. Some of you have already commented on some of the blog posts. I really appreciate it. I, I'm... Um, as soon as I see the comment, I'll immediately write a response. I'm rest assured, I'm really happy for suggestions. If you have anything that you want to tell me, let me know and um, I'll, I'll answer you and uh, maybe even implement some of your ideas. All right? Have a nice weekend and see you tomorrow.